the mind spends so much time talking to itself. For the time being, try talking to yourself about the breath. Where is the breath right now? Where do you feel it? Is it comfortable? Is it not? You can change. Make it deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. You can think of the breath suffusing throughout the whole body. There are lots of different things you can tell yourself about the breath. There are lots of different questions, and then it's not just questioning in the abstract. You're questioning what's actually going on right now. Think of yourself as being like a craftsperson, like a carpenter working on a piece of furniture. You're talking to yourself about how it's going. You remind yourself you've got to stay on top of what you're doing. And then if something goes wrong, you have to ask yourself, well, what's, what's going wrong? What can I fix? You're using the powers of judgment. Sometimes we're told that when you come to Buddhism, you don't use, judge anything. You've got to judge your actions. You're judging them for the purpose of getting a good result. So you're judging a work in progress. And then when things feel really good, ask yourself, can I just stop the commentary for a while and just be with the sensation of the breath? And if after a while you're with the sensation of the breath and it doesn't feel all that good, well, go back and do a little more work. Try it back and forth like this until you're really ready to settle down. This conversation you're having yourself is called directed thought and evaluation. And it's needed for concentration so that you can get everything snugly fit together. You can't just drop your thoughts and be one with the breath. Because maybe the breath is not in good shape, maybe your mind isn't in good shape. You've got to get things in shape before they can fit. Again, think of the carpenter. You've got a joint that you're trying to make, and each side has to be precisely sanded and precisely shaped so they two fit together snugly. You want your mind to be snug with the breath. It's just going to take a little evaluation, and then you try it, see if you can stay there. And if you can't, well, you come back out again and make a little adjustment until everything fits perfectly. Then you can really settle in. At that point, you don't have to be talking to yourself so much. It's just the perception, breath, breath, or right here, right here. Just very simple perception. It's not really a sentence anymore. And that's required so you can maintain your mindfulness all the way up through the different levels of concentration. The important thing is when learning how to know when to talk to yourself and when to be quiet. Our mind has a running commentary on, usually on several things all at once. We're trying to get things pared down, so it's just one thing right here. And it's a conversation that leads to stillness. Then when the time comes where you really have to think, again, you can evaluate the situation. Do you really have to think? And do you really have to make comments on things? If you do, okay. You work on it. And then you rest again. This is how you take care of your mind so that it's sharp. Thinking when it needs to think, still when it needs to be still. It's only then that you can say that you're a master of your thoughts. It's much better than having them be a master of you.